Hello students, I am Dr. Tanuma Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we shall discuss a very interesting topic that is RMGF preparation. Majority of you, I guess you have never seen the pre way to prepare this RMGF because whenever we say Rx plus metallic magnesium in anhydride solvent like ether or THF, in every case this X equal to written that is Cl, Br or iodide never fluorine is mentioned so question is does this rmgf exist or not so we shall try to learn how what is the problem and how to overcome this first of all i request you i I've already discussed the mechanism but very brief i shall explain this magnesium produces two electron and magnesium two plus this electron stepwise reduces this rcl into r you may consider rcl radical anion or it's a combination of r dots and Cl minus again another electron reduces it this into R minus Cl minus and since there is magnesium 2 plus present in the reaction mixture it will produce RMgCl so in this way green not produce but if you do the same thing what is the issue issue is that this uh, carbon fluorine bond is strong first of all second fluorine is not a good living group is not a good leaving group consequently it does not want to leave third point is that third point is that beta hyd means hydrogen elimination what do I mean for example this is the CF in next carbon there is a CH you know that first of all electron can act also act as a base on second thing in the reaction if some amount of Grignard is produced also that can act as a base means that R minus so that R minus can abstract this it will come and ultimately it will leave as HF. So consequently instead of this RMGF we will end up with this alkene derivative. So based because all this reason and most important point is that source of this RF. Actually we know this carbon fluorine bond preparation is very difficult. Why? Because in medicinal chemistry we have observed we need many cases CF bond but this formation of CF bond is difficult because fluorine is very reactive. So unlike other halogens like chlorine, bromine and iodine we can't follow the simple strategy to prepare CF bond. Now based on a common sense just think this RF bond this organofluoro compound is not that much available first of all and all other issues are there. Why should we follow this path? Can we follow an alternate path because in everything is an obstacle. So, so the responsibility of scientists is to develop some other methodology and that I shall learn and that is a little difficult or different that is why uh, RMGF I guess you have not seen majority of cases. So, let us look at this. If you look at the preparation of organomagnesium fluoride by organometallic exchange reaction ok. So, this thing I will explain and this is the old article you can see June 1974 it is a reference. Now just I request you student please listen what I am reading. The preparation of alkyl and aryl magnesium fluoride by reaction of dialkyl and diaryl magnesium compound. Dialkyl and diaryl magnesium compound and fluorinating agent such as BF3 etherate, silicon tetrafluoride, tin, uh, tributyl tin fluoride etc. in THF. So, that dialkyl magnesium and this fluorinating compound reaction and exchange of fluoride from this BF3 to magnesium will happen and ultimately it will produce the alkyl magnesium fluoride and obviously such reaction will be carried out in presence of solvent like anhydrous THF or anhydrous diethyl ether. And student the condition must be completely anhydrous because presence of moisture will destroy the produced Greek nitrogen reagent and produce ultimately the alkene. Now, let us discuss one reaction. See this dialkyl magnesium if you look at this R magnesium what happens this R act as a nucleophile and attack this uh, boron trifluoride actually ether coordinated solvent reagent but during the reaction ether goes out. So, this alkene attacks and ultimately it produces this R B F 3 minus and the formal negative charge is on boron. So, in the next step since this negative charge species is not that much stable this fluoride leaves because R minus is very reactive unstable but fluoride minus is relatively more stable as first of all more electronegative. Second if you check the uh, magnesium carbon bond this is significantly ionic but if you take boron carbon bond it is covalent 
and in case of fluorine fluoride magnesium that's not a issue because fluorine is most electronegative and magnesium is electropositive so they can uh, uh, reside they can stay together happily so that's why the product is rmgx one side and these reaction this first first phase one fluorine substitution we understood second phase another third phase another so after another two step it will produce r3br okay so tri alkyl boron derivative so this thing we understood next i shall you discuss how to purify this after some time now just read this thing whatever they have written so fluorobenzene doesn't react to with magnesium under the condition successful preparation of primary alkyl fluorobignite compound secondly this tertiary and secondary al means fluorides are difficult to synthesis just we have discussed some time before and this is what we have said so in this way we can have an alternate route to prepare this fluorogrignard compound especially those compound which is difficult in direct route okay so we have understood now in this way we have prepared this rmgf now question is there is another issue this trialkyl boron we don't want this molecule how to purify how to get the pure rmgx so for that purpose the strategy is this r this thing is taken in a container for example just try to visualize this is an rb and in this case both are mixed what is that rmgf plus r3b both are mixed now this is actually should be a slank rb okay so this is a inert condition everything now in in, in vacuum what it will produce this will convert it into means evaporate to dryness this will convert it into a solid paste now in the solid paste what could be possible both rmgf or r3b you can say that it may be uh, evaporated that may possible if r is bigger that may not be possible so consequently what will happen these are solid residue may contain both but look at this r3b compound or even if you say in case of silicon that is silicon sir4 all these compounds containing carbon so these compounds are soluble in very non polar solvent like hexane or toluene etc i don't recommend use benzene because benzene is more toxic than toluene i have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this so please visit if you want to learn so and remember always these all solvent must be anhydrous so these weak washing what it will result so if you pour in the next step hexane so in the next step what it will produce it will produce one solution this solution this solution contain hexane and this tri magnesium uh, alkyl magnesium or this rmg f and this r3b this r3b is soluble in hexane or this toluene whatever so in the next page but this rmgf will not be soluble why because this rmgf if you check this is a significantly polar compound so it prefer it will prefer not to go non polar solvent like hexane consequently after this washing means this washing repeatedly what will happen that in the reaction mix means solvent will go and after that you make it evaporate to dryness again and what it will end up you will end up purely this rmgf now it is in a solid thing how to use because grignard reagent we can't take and wait in a balance and do the reaction we have to make solution for that purpose we can add anhydrous thf or ether so based on our requirement so in this way we will get the thf or ether solution of rmgf means in this way we will get through a back pathway we will prepare this rmgf solution okay so this is the overall discussion i guess you have understood everything so thanks for watching if you really enjoy please like comment and share this content and your cooperation is highly acknowledged see you in my next video